Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be explaining hormones and menstrual hormones. Now the first thing is there are four factors in the body that we need to control that you need to know. And they are blood water levels, blood ion levels or salt levels, blood sugar levels and body temperature. Now all you need to know is that our body is able to control these factors to allow us to function properly. For example, um, our body's enzymes need to be at the correct temperature to work properly, so we need to control temperature. Now, coming on to a definition of a hormone, a hormone is a protein that is produced by glands. So a hormone produced by glands, transported in the blood to a target organ. Now, hormones allow us to control our body's conditions by having an effect upon that target organ. Now, I'm going to go through an example of how hormones are used in the body now. Now, you need to know about menstrual hormones and what their job is. So, I've drawn a simple diagram here showing the pituitary gland and the female reproductive system. Now, you need to know how three different hormones affect this system. Now, the first step is the pituitary gland release the hormone called FSH, and that stands for follicle stimulating hormone. The pituitary gland is found in the brain, and it would then release that hormone FSH, and that would obviously be transported in the blood to the ovary, which would be the target organ. Now that stimulates the ovary to produce estrogen. Okay? Now there are two key words here, stimulate and inhibit. Stimulate means causes it to be produced, Inhibit means stops it being produced. Now, estrogen has three effects. What estrogen does, so I'll put OE to, sit to signal estrogen. Estrogen thickens the lining of the uterus to make it ready for a egg to implant. It inhibits FSH, which means that it reduces the production of F FSH by the pituitary gland, and it also stimulates the release of another hormone. Okay? This hormone is called LH, which stands for luteinizing hormone. And again, just like estrogen and FSH, that will be transported in the blood. Now, LH has one job. All it does is it causes an egg to be released from the ovary and it would travel along here towards the uterus. Just to clarify, FSH, its role is to mature the egg to make sure that they're ready. Okay. So that is a simple explanation of hormones of the menstrual cycle and hormones and their general effect. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. If you have any requests, please, please leave that in the comments. Thank you very much.